Hi, this is Ian Cole with an IAQA tech tip on surface cleanliness and ATP part two. In part one, I described ATP and its measurement. In this video, I'll cover some of the advantages and disadvantages to using ATP for surface cleanliness evaluations. One key advantage is that the results are obtained within a minute. When compared to laboratory-based methods, using ATP is a speedy way to evaluate surface cleanliness. ATP measurements can also be relatively inexpensive after the initial purchase of the ATP luminometer. Yet another advantage is that measurements can be compared to an industry standard. The ISSA Clean Standard for K-12 schools provides levels to help interpret the test results for three common ATP luminometers. By referencing the standard or other guidelines, you have a basis to interpret the results. The standard has benchmarks for effective cleaning, ineffective cleaning, and a range in between for needs improvement. Although there are many advantages, we also need to cover some shortcomings of the technology. Because ATP is found in all living cells, this method cannot distinguish between ATP from mold, bacteria, plants, and animals. Therefore, your phone may have a higher level of ATP than a surface with a pathogenic agent which ATP meters cannot specifically distinguish. Furthermore, ATP meters cannot detect viruses directly. Another disadvantage is that the technology only works on viable microorganisms. Swabbing some old mold growth may, to your surprise, provide a very low reading. Yet another disadvantage is that non-biological dirt or debris on a surface will go undetected. Also, measurements shouldn't be made on porous surfaces. Of course, there are many other advantages and disadvantages that time doesn't allow us to get into, but we can conclude that using ATP meters can be a part of a strategy to measure surface cleanliness so long as we're aware of the technology's limitations. If you'd like to learn more about technologies used to evaluate indoor environmental quality, consider taking a class in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.